Hello, how is everyone doing? It's uh, Dread Pirate Forex here, and today we are looking at the Bitcoin USD chart. Um, this is a chart that I drew up on December 30th. Um, if you check out my Instagram at dread.pirate.forex, you'll see we actually bought Bitcoin up to 19,000, and that's where we um, got out because of all the massive media attention I was expecting some correction in the market um, soon so we we took what we wanted uh, we took what it gave us at 19 got out and then uh, started watching the reversal formations um, I started watching the trends if you look here you can see some uh, smaller trend lines and these are just smaller trends that are happening within a larger trend. If you don't know, um, a chart can have multiple different trends going on. Say, you know, a larger time frame could have an uptrend, but if you go to a, a lower time frame, it could have a downtrend and vice versa. So you have to always be uh, conscious of what uh, time frame you're looking at what the overall trend is on the larger time frames and the smaller time frame trends that you're trying to trade. So these smaller ones here are just, you know, from smaller time frames looking for breakouts and um, support and resistance levels, things like that, because trends change constantly. Um, now on a larger time frame, obviously your trend can take a long time to change but on a smaller time frame, trends can change, you know, constantly. So you, you have to constantly be updating your trend lines and your trend lines and things like that. So um, once we form this nice little wedge here at the bottom of this um, second trend that it had formed, um, I anticipated it to break through down to the first um trend that it was forming um, originally there and uh, if you go check out my Instagram or my Facebook I think I actually posted a picture of the chart so you could actually see it and uh, I did have my analysis down I was shooting for targets right around here which was the um, previous resistance which became support once we broke through now once we came in down to the bottom of this mini trend line we broke through and then we also broke through the previous resistance which became support and down to the bottom which of the previous support here and uh, we played around a bit you can see some wicks here I don't know how well you guys can see it but um, we waited I figured with it breaking these two trends my and with these strong long um, bear candles my um, my analysis was for it to come back to test the major channel here which is where this uh, um, price point is I had this price point here based off of the support from these two major pivot points there's a pivot point here and a pivot point here so this was the target area I was looking for here at the bottom of this major channel for it to come to as a target for shorting and um, as you can see we got that it actually broke through the major channel pretty hard and um, fell almost to 10,000 right there and came back and um, retested the major channel and um, I believe this is when we had a lot of people selling off their bitcoins a lot of the uh, the big guys that everybody talks about in the news so it kind of sent the uh, market down a bit and then of course that's anticipated market correction is always anticipated um, so with it breaking the major trend right there it retested it there and it came back down to the support here and it did not break we had some wicks but it didn't really break the support um, area here so I waited um, I wasn't in this trade yet that's whenever I uh, it came back up through the trend here and um, it didn't break this support level here um, indicated by this thick horizontal as a support zone that I was watching and 
it was a zone that I'm watching for potential sales as well because of the previous uh, major pivot here and the consolidation at this price level I was looking for um, some um, some movement there at that level as you can see we didn't get there and it came right back down but you know we formed a nice little wedge here at the bottom below this major channel so I figured with it forming the wedge and it um, rejecting the channel like it is after breaking through the bottom of it um, I figured we might get one more pass to the top I know I didn't draw my line all the way up to the top here but this was my target and uh, you know I'm not very good drawing with a mouse and uh, so I'm sorry it looks kind of crappy but uh, I expected the one the two and then a third pass here to get us right to the, the level we needed to sell and so that's that was my analysis for it I figured once we reached there and we showed um, rejection that it would be time to sell and it would more than likely fall to some previous zones that you can't see here uh, maybe a little we got some uh, this is a zone that I was watching right in between two pivot points this is a target I was looking for and um, my last target being 8,000 that is where I anticipate it to fall before we start seeing some upward movement again possibly and so um, again this chart was posted December 30th it is now January 17th so let's take a look and see how it played out on this five hour chart and there you have it as you can see we came down and we um, actually tested this support level again but it did come right back up to my uh, my resistance and my zone that I was anticipating sell at the bottom of this channel we rejected the channel we rejected the zone and uh, we got some nice um, railroad candles and some doji pattern formations there and then some nice bullish movement and it has continued to fall and um, if you look at the price currently it's actually already hit this target here if you go check out price um, I'm, we haven't reached 8,000 yet um, I may update my analysis um, we may not reach 8,000 but uh, we have reached this target here at like 10 4 or something like that so um, good profits there um, you know you can sell this and buy this just like any other currency and um, so yeah that was my analysis on it why I took this trade um, it was an old school method that I was using to um, make this analysis I'm not using the wick trading strategy and the scalping strategy this was a long-term swinging strategy that I used and uh, some Fibonacci because there's not a whole lot well there's no you know um, historical data at this price level so I was making these judgments based off of just candle formations and um, support and resistance zones and um, as you can tell it played out pretty good um, we got a nice little pattern here head and shoulder a shoulder here big nasty head and a very very complicated shoulder here but as you can tell it came right to this level and reversed right at the bottom of this channel that it broke through here and retested it tried to test it three times and it's finally uh, you know fallen off it's fell quite a bit more since this chart was I took this picture which was on the 16th um, so if you go check it out you'll see that we have surpassed the second target and this was just a a fun little trade I did I don't normally trade um, anything other than USD Japan but I had a lot of people on Facebook asking me about Bitcoin because of the major hype that was in it at the time you know everybody started to trade the Bitcoin because of all the news outlets talking about it and things like that so a lot of people who know that I invest were bugging me about it so I decided to play with it a little bit and this is what we got out of it we bought in at a uh, Right around nine if you go check out my Facebook we got in at 9,000 we bought and um, somewhere around here and we got out at 19 flat 
and then we sold here and this was our our take profit here and take profit here um, we haven't reached 8,000 yet we may still reach 8,000 but um, we'll see we're gonna have to update it um, I may post an updated video um, on it but overall the Bitcoin um, could be a good investment um, long term you know it may reach 30 40 50 thousand especially as technology advances and everybody moves towards online payment for everything everything's done through e-payments and such um, digital currencies could be the future in my opinion especially with the amount of growth that they've received not even the one not even just ones that are being talked about ones that aren't even being talked about so um you know the future for digital currencies is looking bright the first time i ever traded bitcoin was what 2011 was when i bought my first bitcoins but um i lost them too so don't think i made a bunch of money off of it i actually lost the wallet that i had them in but um yeah just a brief analysis on the bitcoin trade that i gave why i um thought it was going to go down and then obviously my analysis on why it was a good idea to short it and then obviously the outcome of what happened with the bitcoin as you can see if anyone shorted it at the level that i said um, on my facebook then they obviously are making some great profits hopefully they close them out and do the right thing manage their assets but thank you guys for watching the video if you stuck around i know i'm, I'm rambling on i want to get better at this get better at teaching and using words that you guys are going to understand and teaching things in a more simple way so everyone can understand because I know not everyone can is from America and understands all the wordage and things like that and I also am I guess can be hard to understand at times especially the wordage I huge cues and uh, just my accent and the way I talk in general so I'm sorry in advance for any of that I will work to get better at it I will work to make sure the vernaculars I'm using to describe things are easy for everyone to understand. So thank you. Have a good day. This is Dread Pirate signing off. Peace out.